Jim's trip bike of the day is a BMW HP carbon fiber. This is the one that he rode today and which you'll see in the video. So I also rode the Super Duke 990. Very nice. The uh, brakes, you know, I mean, it's only got 80 miles on it, so the brakes are still bedding in and this and that, but, you know, still they're like one or two finger brakes anyway. So you don't have to remember to bring your special little screwdriver or Allen wrench or whatever. This is like right there. Yeah, and I set the front and rear sag to, you know, my weight and everything. I just did it on the chain and everything yesterday, but the dampening is still where it was from the factory, which is about uh, two thirds soft, and I couldn't find anything wrong with it coming up here, so I just went to leave it alone. Like it more used to the bike. How's the ergos, Chris? Fine. Really? Uh, the, uh, I mean, some of the people like the BMW boys kind of talk about, well, oh, it's hard on their wrist and this and that. Well, yeah, if you're riding it around town, you know, like. collecting bikes Chris? Uh, about 10 years. And what made you decide to start getting all of these bikes? I mean did it like was it like a plan or did it just kind of happen? Uh, it just kind of happened one, one day at a time. How about how many bikes do you have? About 350. And you get them all at those auctions right? Uh, a lot of them go off eBay. Sweet. Gas on. minor little scratch here and there well there was a lot more of the here and the there <laughs> so what's the deal with the full floater what well, exactly is that uh, just uh, basically the uh, rear brake 
arm is hooked up to the stationary frame rather than, oh yeah, I saw that. Oh, you did? Yes. I showed you. The, instead of being hooked up to the swing arm, it's actually hooked up to the uh, stationary part of the frame, and that's supposedly something they claimed would cut down on rear wheel hop. Hmm. But hell, nowadays nobody uses rear brakes anyway. Isn't like Royal Enfield one of the most rarest of all of them? Well, not really uh, rare. I mean, they don't make them anymore. Um, but uh, back in the day, England probably had dozens of different motorcycle manufacturers. Royal Enfield started out as an arms company, just kind of like BSA did. What's the story on this one? Uh, it's a, 1947, I uh, don't remember if it's a 350 or a 500 because I've got identical bikes, um, same year, different sizes, so I'm not sure which one this one is. Hey Chris, what's the deal on this Moto Guzzi over here, the red one? A 1952 500 single. What year is it again? Here we have a pair of really, really old Ducatis. Here we are in Chris Dolan's first primary garage. As you can see, there's bikes as far as the eye can see. We've got a Kawasaki Police 1000. We've got a 754 Honda, Britain, Ducati, Moto Guzzi, Kagiva, and my personal favorite, the Bimota DB4. I got to ride that one last week. Didn't we put that one in the garage? Oh wait, we, we did put it there. It's been back just a smattering of every kind of motorcycle you can possibly imagine. And there's also other places that there are bikes of an undisclosed nature. I've been sworn to secrecy. Anyway, that's it for now.